So guys, it's BD here, and welcome to the fourth episode of the upcoming group I show, where I show you how to wait. I mean, spend your money wisely on a bunch of keycaps, keyboards, switches, desk mats, and more. Today, we've got some heavy hitters for you guys, including the first GMK set that I ever bought personally. Yes, that's right. The highly anticipated GMK Bento round two is back. I probably get the most questions about this set whenever I post it. It's coming in at $125 for the traditional set. That's blue, off-white, and salmon pink, and $125 for the revival kit. That's all blue with some salmon lettering. Both have that Hiragana sub-legends and the novelties are a must with that ramen as the escape key and the bento lunchbox as the enter key. This set is already doing crazy numbers so I suggest if you were to get any set from this video it would be this one. It hits super hard on a silver board and it goes well on a polycarbonate or blackboard as well. The chopsticks for the salmon pink space bar and the desk mat with the arch are a must cop as well. Just take a look at how sexy this keycap set is. This is from the round one that I got in on. I still have it to this day. It's on my silver Baca 60 board and it just hits so hard on this board. So highly recommend it. If you guys were to get any set on this list, it's the Bento. Now the next set we have is the GMK Pono, Puno, Pono. <laughs> for all of you cat lovers out there, these are running for $125 and the keycaps are black, which makes the pink lettering pop out even more. The novelties have a bunch of cat references on the enter key and the escape keys. Me, I'm more of a dog person, uh, I'll tell you that right now, but I gotta admit, this is one good looking set. Now the next set that we have is a GMK Minimal Round 2. It's running for $100, and I feel like we've been seeing a lot of these white with black lettering keycap sets, but what makes this set a little bit more worth it is that they're gonna add in some colors this time as well. You're gonna get a very nice red, a lime green, and blue when you get the add-on for another additional $30. So the whole setup will cost you around $130 total, and uh, it just gives you a little bit more versatility for your setup. So let's say one day you wanna have a blue setup, just switching those keycaps. If you want a green setup, a red setup, you can easily do it with this versatile GMK minimal set. The next keycap set on the list is the GMK Oni. This really reminds me of like those old Ducky Joker and Ultraviolet sets mixed with the, that good and blue set from Ducky as well. And uh, I'm here for it because I love those sets. The bubblegum pink really pops and matches so well with the other shades of blue. This is running for $135, which is on the higher side, but it could be worth it if this is the color scheme that you are going for. And I know a lot of you guys out there, I feel like I've been seeing some of you guys' setup, and I feel like the Oni might hit for a lot of you guys out there. So next up, we have the hot take of the month, which is the GMK pre-press. I wanted to like this set, you know, I, I really do guys, come on. I, I really wanna like this set. It's a great concept for a keycap set, but seeing these renders, the colors just mush together and it just looks like a mess. It's a great concept as the colors are based off of like the printing colors, which is like the yellow, cyan, and pink. You know when you guys buy like a printer cartridge and you get it and it has those little three dots on it. I feel like they could have spent a little bit more time on the novelties as well and they could have been better. I feel like the PR lettering on there just doesn't work for me. I don't know, I just don't like it. And and uh, maybe, you know, maybe I will be eating my words once this set does come out, but for the time being, I cannot help but just feel like the set could have been better somehow, some way. We also have a desk mat this time around and it is coming from Enigma Keyboards. 100% of the proceeds will be going to the World Central Kitchen to feed people around the world with hot meals. Now sticking with the theme, it's a green desk mat with a pot in the middle and some bowls on the sides and the yellow and the green give a nice contrast. This is coming in at $20 and it's an easy cop because this is for a good cause. I'm definitely going to hop in for one. So, so yeah, definitely check this mouse pad out if you want to give back, especially during these times. It's really rough for people, so anything helps. Now, last but not least, we have the keyboard of the month, and it is the keyboard I'm super excited about. It's the Alpine 65 from Bitmap Studio. It's a 65% layout, but the arrow keys and the side buttons are a little bit pushed down and to the right. It's making it kind of a unique layout, and it has a badge up at the top, which I'm a huge fan of, and the etching on the bottom plate looks really intricate and detailed. I love the look of it. It has these little mountains. It has the Alpine name on there. I think this looks absolutely sick, and it'll come in very colors like black, navy, red, e-white, and black carbonate. The casing will be aluminum, and best of all, it's gasket mounted. Not only that, they're gonna be putting foam at the bottom of the case, as well as giving you foam in between the plate and the PCB. So my guess is this is gonna be sounding like Will Ferrell's voice at the Catalina Wine Mixer. Oh, 
<laughs> now the price of this keyboard is $300, which isn't bad at all for a gasket mounted 65% keyboard. I feel like you never see that. And these will be limited to 500 units. There isn't an exact date for release, but I've been told that it'll be around late August to early September. So make sure you are following me on Instagram and Twitter to get the real time updates of when this will be going live. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. That's gonna do it for the fourth episode. It has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Video. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.